Hello, Anatomy students. In this podcast, I'll be reviewing the fontanelles of the infant skull. When a baby is born, the bones of its skull are not completely ossified, and some areas still remain as cartilage and mesenchyme, which is embryonic connective tissue. Some of these mesenchyme-rich areas in between the developing cranial bones transform into flat pockets of dense connective tissue called fontanelles. These regions are often referred to as the soft spots. The fontanelles allow extra room for continued growth of the infant skull and give it some flexibility, permitting it to change shape as the brain rapidly grows during early infancy. The fontanelles gradually ossify into bone through the process of intramembranous ossification, and the junctions that connect the adjacent skull bones together become sutures. There are four major fontanelles found in the infant skull at birth. This is the anterior or frontal fontanelle. It's colored in on this model of the infant skull. This single fontanelle is the largest one in the infant skull and is shaped like a diamond. It is located where the frontal bone meets the parietal bones of the skull and it usually ossifies or closes by age two. The posterior or occipital fontanelle is located in the back of the skull. It's a single fontanelle that's found where the two parietal bones meet the single occipital bone. And it's smaller than the anterior fontanelle and usually closes within two months after birth. Next are the anterolateral or sphenoidal fontanelles. They're a pair of small fontanelles found laterally on each side of the skull where the frontal bone, parietal bone, sphenoid, and temporal bone meet. They usually close within three months after birth. And the last fontanelles are the posterolateral or mastoid fontanelles. These are a pair of irregularly shaped fontanelles found on each side of the skull where the parietal bone meets up with the temporal and occipital bones. They usually close by the end of the infant's first year. One way to remember the names of the fontanelles is through the mnemonic PAPA, P-A-P-A, which stands for posterior, anterior, posterolateral, and anterolateral fontanelles.